Well, you're a killjoy then. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it behind closed doors. Yeah, I'm all for displays of affection, just not public ones. Uh, recently, I paid £60 to go and see Les Mis and the couple in front of me snogged so violently that I got... <laughs> violently? I got spit on me. And oh. he, he had his leg over hooked over both of hers and they were really going at it. I, I imagine the cast weren't best pleased I, well, I couldn't see, I couldn't hear. And when I asked them if they'd mind stopping, he told me to mind my own business. Mind you, that, mm. that is a moment to say get a room, I think, because yes. they really are taking over the room and spoiling it for everyone. But that's more about disturbing what you're doing. If you were on a bus, you know, just staring out the window yeah. and someone was doing that or someone was walking down the street kissing and cuddling, what my husband calls love birding. Very yeah. old-fashioned and sweet term. Sweet. Uh, what do you... Um, what would that still annoy you? Well, holding hands and kissing is just like a, a token of affection. But when you do... Uh, Zara, for yes, example, the pictures, with yes. Mike Tyndall, that was goosing. He was goosing her. But it's a huge problem in relationships that people have stopped being physical with one another. And I think the more we're hugging, the more we're loving each other and showing affection, especially in the world we live in at the moment, it's quite a lot of negative news out there. Yeah. I think it's a positive thing to see two people... Can it sometimes be about showing off? Yeah, it's never... Sort of, is it... A, can it sometimes be a I've bit more seen... of a, a performance, for example, just I've to never sort seen... of show off that, look at how great our relationship is? It's a bit of smugness going I on. Don't, I don't agree. Last night I came into Waterloo Station to come here today and uh, I walked out the train. I haven't been on a to Waterloo Station in years and years, and I saw so many couples kissing and hugging. And I, I saying goodbye absolutely or loved saying it. Hello. And I thought yeah. it was That's lovely, lovely. I've to got see no objection lots to of that. couples kissing and hugging, hugging one another. I thought it was a really lovely, actually, thing to see at a crowded station. I really enjoyed it. Same at airports. I always love seeing that when people are welcome. Well, that's different to exhibitionism, isn't it? Where they should either get a room or go to a bus stop where no one can I see them don't and crack think on in there. Putting your hand on something. You've your been watching your Love Island. Island. <laughs> <You're married. laughs> I have. You actually. have. <laughs> but that, Love Island is an interesting thing because I, that is I, all I, about. I can't. I wouldn't be able to comment. I don't watch. Well, it's like that. Collection, you know, they're all out now and all the paparazzi photographs are of them, you know, as couples, sort of... Yeah. I wonder if one know, of the joys of Love Island for the people who did watch it and did become addicted was that you kind of saw inside of relationships that you often don't see, even amongst your friends. You watch True. people, you know, fall in love, not fall in love. You saw the intimate conversations. And actually, that is fascinating to people, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but, but they are on an island, so, I mean, they can pretty well do what they want, can't they? I'm talking about people who do that pestle and mortar style of kissing when they're in Tesco, for example. <laughs> Your and language you just is so violent, rumbling. <laughs> yeah, I want to call between, yes. between two couples in the supermarket the other day, both of them kissing either side. What were they doing uh, kissing I in the felt like a big for? They were queuing up. It was a long queue. And they were, they were like teenagers. You know, remember those days? No, 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 I was stuck in the middle of feeling like such a gooseberry that in the end I said, do you two want to go? I have to say... So you've got the four of you yes. being together. And weirdly, when the two couples were standing together, they sort of stopped. So, like, it's a, when they became aware <laughs> Maybe that other people made the other saw one each other... But I don't see what, so why everyone's being offended, what, what, why it bothers you, I don't understand. I'd be far more interested to know the journalist who felt the need to point negatively about this couple that were touched. Right, married I think, couple I think that some of the reports be interested were, to know what they love had life. a second child, look at how... You know, they're still brilliant. very romantic. That's really brilliant. That's quite so, a nice story it's in many ways. fantastic. There's so few couples that can keep that intimacy, that affection yes, towards and one another alive. That can cause That's one of the biggest problems in relationships. And actually, stop loving each other. What's the big deal? And actually, sometimes withdrawing physical affection... It's the biggest or, or problem keep, in and, relationships. And I, you know, people sometimes want a bit of reassurance yeah. in public, don't they? Everyone Just deserves think. to be held It, it in is sending a message, isn't it? And there's a lot of celebrity couples who do it when their relationship is on the verge of breaking down and they do it to try and sell the idea to True. us, sell their brand to us, that they're True. actually really happy. So I don't think it's got anything to do... I don't want to know about other people's sex lives, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm busy <laughs> enough with my own. So why would I care what other people are doing? They should keep it away from my eyes, cos I am... So you don't... Well, so you don't mind hand-holding, but kissing and... Well, hand hold is another example, actually. What about um, Sherry Blair and even Megan? And, and uh, they're, all, they're always clinging onto people's hands. It's like the other partner's trying to escape. But if you want to kiss and cuddle someone you adore, that's not an offensive thing. I think that we all need to start... stop. Be, I think we need to stop being so yes. offended by everything. I think these journalists should perhaps think about what they do for a living and it's well, no, not he is. necessary. He's sold a lot of pictures, love, so he's made well, a lot of money out of that. I think that's really sad. Yeah. I'd be much more concerned about the photographer taking the photo, to be honest with you than two people in love, mm. especially married couple in love. I think it's brilliant that people 
are still affectionate. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder if Sarah's grandmother would ever be seen um, doing what well, she Well, it's a generational difference, perhaps. That's, that's mm. such a, may I hold your hand just to say no. thank you for coming? <laughs> 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 rejected, <laughs> rejected. Very clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Very, very oh. clear. Thanks uh, very much, thank indeed, you. Lovely to talk to you both.